Okay. Are we ready for this again? The battery is blinking dead, so I feel like time's like TikToking, and I know that I have a lot to talk about and I have a lot to say, and I don't exactly know where I want to begin. First off, I just want to say like, hi. Welcome. This video is not going to be anything like the last video that I started out talking like this. Uh, that video is very depressing and I was in a very depressing time in my life. So basically what I wanted to do for this one is just kind of do like a, another kind of talk about how things have been going since then. Mostly because I actually got a very, very great response to that last one. It was 26 minutes long, the longest video I've ever made, and I just talked and was like super honest and shared my experiences and whatever kind of advice I could come up with at the moment, even though I would probably needed advice from others more than anything at the time. But I had so many people reach out to me and tell me that I was inspiring them, that, that they were here for me, and just like, just such positive messages, and it made me feel if it's, it's indescribable. I'm not going to get emotional during this video, I promise. Okay, I don't really promise that. One, because I am on my period. Also, I'm just a super emotional person and I cry over nothing, so. <laughs> so this is the last video of 2019 and this is very different. I usually like to end my year with my year end video and that is a cute little video diary to a beautiful song. Um, I was thinking maybe this year it would be like Frank Ocean since he was like a big part of my year. Right now I am going to come out and say like straight on now that you're not going to be getting a 2019 year end compilation video anytime soon. Um, I do plan on making it. I can't. I can't do it. And I get worked up just thinking about doing it, so I can't do it. I've been doing so good since the, like, the whole last like few months. And thinking about having to go through all of that footage, I'm like, I should not allow myself to get back into that headspace. I, like, I can't look at all of those memories right now and bring myself down again. Like I'm doing too, too well for that. So I promise it's going to come. I just think that I need to mentally prepare myself to say, okay, you know what? Let me pick this day out of the week and this is gonna be a shitty day and we're just gonna cry and edit a video and then we're gonna move right, we're gonna move right past it. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably do it while I'm on vacation somewhere. Just like really get into it and then maybe pound like a whole bottle of wine, pass out, for, wake up and forget about it the next day. So I promise, yes, the video will come um, because I do it for myself more than anything. All of these videos I do for myself. And so that's actually another thing that I wanted to talk about coming on here, how this channel is going to change in 2020. And I will talk about that first, but before I stray too far, I do want to talk about like, you know, everything that has kind of been going on. So you know why? Obviously, if you're here watching this, one of my sappy sit down wine about my life videos about my whole relationship and how it really just like effed me up, whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have actually been doing really well. I've moved on from the situation. I know that it's not going to be anything in the future. And while I still have feelings for this person and I feel like he is a great person and he may have done some shitty things to me. I still have a general overall good feeling towards him and I wish him the best and I wish him all of happiness and I hope that one day we are able to connect again and be cool again and so I've tried to reach out I just feel like he has a lot of I know I don't want to get too personal and like share his business because he, I'm choosing to put my life out here he's not so without saying too much I just feel like he has a lot of anger towards me, and I'm not really sure why, because we didn't end our relationship with anger. I just want to be at a place where we're not both blocking each other on social media, when at this point, it's irrelevant. He's moved on, I've moved on, everything's fine. And so I've tried to have a good conversation, and I'm like, I just want to clear the air, but you're not listening to me. Maybe it just needs more time, I don't know. Maybe there's just too much damage there, I don't know. But I'm not used to it because I'm used to being cool with my exes. I'm cool with all of my exes. Br 
Brayden, I talked to Brayden. I talked to Brayden yesterday. Brayden is doing fantastic. The guy before that, Zach, the one that I was heartbroken over, uh, that I went to LA for, first time I ever traveled by myself. And I just went back to LA and I hit him up, I asked if he wanted to catch up over drinks. I think that's important and I enjoy it because you know that there was at one point a time that you and your ex were on the same exact wavelengths and you were a big part of each other's lives. And the thing, I keep hearing this quote and it says, it basically along the lines of, it's hard to go from being someone's everything to being their nothing. And it, it really is hard. But for that initial time after you break up, you do have to separate and you have to get that wall where you can both get over it and move on. But then eventually, I don't see that there's anything wrong with being friends with your exes. And so I hope that one day, me and Michael will be able to be at a good place where we can actually be happy for each other. Maybe grab a cup of coffee, see how each other's lives are doing. But anyways, uh, that's enough about that. I just kind of went through this place and I decided, you know what, I was at a bad place mentally when we broke up and that was kind of one of the reasons that we did. We were both just kind of, we, we needed to work on ourselves a lot. So we separated to work on ourselves and that's what I've been doing and that's what I've been doing every single day and I have been putting 110% into getting better every single, <laughs> every single day. I have talked to therapists. I was on a call with a therapist for two hours this morning. I have surrounded myself with my family. These past few months with my family have been so great because we've been building this relationship that we just haven't had before. I've been trying to build up more of the relationships with all of my friends. Um, just kind of really be there for people and be aware that I need to be listening more and I need to be a better friend and I need to be a better sister and I need to be a better everything. Just because I just want to be better. I just don't want to let anyone down and I want them to be happy to be around me. I reached out to every single person that I felt like I made a bad first impression with, especially the people that I made a really bad impression with when we were traveling in Europe, you know, like I was meeting them and I was just in like a horrible mood and I was just kind of rude. I was not a very like welcoming person, but I reached out to all of them and I apologized and now like we send each other memes and like these people are my friends and I just feel like it's really super important especially if you're getting over a breakup, but it's very super important in general to build up relationships with friends and your family, basically all the people that can't break up with you. <laughs> Not only that, but once you have great relationships with everyone and you have a great relationship with yourself, then I think I will be ready to have a relationship with another person. But I do want to keep working on myself. Am I dating? Yeah, I am. I've met some amazing people. I think that's also another step in healing is to just go out and meet new people and have fun. I have met like the most amazing people. I went to LA and I met some YouTubers basically that I have been watching for years and have actually like inspired a lot of content on my channel. And it was actually just so cool to have like a little real life relationship with them. And so I still talk to some of them now and we plan to like see each other again someday. It was just so random. And so it's crazy to see like how big the world is and how many opportunities there are out there. And so now I am planning all of these crazy things to keep continuing to see the world and I'm going to be doing that as soon as the weather gets nice in the spring I'll be back over in Europe um, I have like a long extended plan and I'm going to make that work and I am very 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 lucky that at this particular time in my life because I've been working my ass off the past few months I can actually say now that I am like 100% self-employed to a point where I'm about to sign a lease for an apartment in the city of Dallas and I'm still going to be able to travel Europe after like and go on like I just like I'm really really freaking proud of myself as you know in the last video I kind of went into what I have been doing like for money and basically since last February it's been almost a year that I've been trying to pull all of this into a full-time thing 
And since I got back, it's been so much easier to find brands to collaborate with on Instagram. And so I've really been growing my Instagram. It's like doubled since I've been back. And so I'm really proud of that. Um, I'm doing really well on finding sponsors and um, to sponsor videos, to do content creation for. I'm actually getting paid for this. I'm getting paid well. I'm teaching. I'm absolutely loving it. That was supposed to be something to kind of help me make money and move around still and do, you know, like what I really wanted to do. But I had no idea that I would love what I was doing so much. Even if I don't even need it ever anymore, I think I'm just gonna like have a little bit on the side so I can see my little kids and be like, hi kids, I missed you, how's your day? Like, I've just built like so many relationships with them and I've just been like really, really fulfilled with my career. But what I've also been doing a lot is I've been planning and planning and planning and I have come up with just kind of like a list of all of these other things that I do want to do and I don't know if they necessarily could happen in this coming year but I'm going to really push myself to get it done this coming year. I just want to put my hand into all these different baskets and not settle. And now I am looking at the world and seeing it as more and more things that I can build instead of just places that I can go. I mean, I have like two crazy goals. One, I want to start a clothing line. And two, I really want to publish a book. And I, I know like you might be hearing these things and being like, Erin, what the heck? That is so random. And I can't tell you enough how many times people say, Erin, that is the most random idea you've ever had. <laughs> I've been writing every day and it started out as like, this is going to sound really weird, but I don't think he's watching this anyway. It started out, I was writing letters like to my ex. But this is a really good way to get over someone too. And... You, so you just write letters to the person and just let them know everything with no intention of ever sending them until basically you feel better. And that kind of turned into me journaling more. I had to flip the script and start directing these things towards myself and not towards him. And so for a few months, I've been journaling like every day. And I realized how much that I absolutely love writing and I've always loved writing. I remember like when me and Caitlin were kids and we would write books all the time. And I actually was like a published young author in like kindergarten or something. It is probably super relevant and weird, but it was like a big like celebratory thing in our school. So it's always been something that I've been super interested in. And then as soon as I kind of started doing videos like this, I kind of lost that aspect of it. But I feel like now, and I'm actually very thankful for what I did go through and all the hard work that I did go through because it has given me so much material and thoughts and I've just, been so like I, mean, I don't want to say inspired by it because I don't want to look at it, look at it that way but like it's opened up my mind a lot and it's given me a lot of real world experience I guess and I've actually come up with like this fantastic idea and it's like scratching at my brain and I have been kind of like loosely writing it but I want to literally go away to a place where I can be like totally zenned out and write a book there and like my initial thought is like okay go to Paris for like a month and do it but like that's so cliche I know but honestly all of the great writers are from Paris anyway and there's got to be a reason might be Greece might be Italy um, for my clothing line I have been working on that like crazy um, I have the name I have been talking to like uh, wholesalers putting together a whole mock website I have like everything ready to go for when I'm ready to actually have the time that I'm going to need to be in one place and have all the stuff come then I can take the photos with the models do the website put everything on there but I do think this is actually proving I thought that this was gonna be like a quick thing but this is a project that's gonna take me a long time those are just like two of my main goals that I've been having and so it's just crazy because it's just directions that my life has been pulled and things that have been there always and things that are new and I just want to explore and it just makes my mind think you know what this life is crazy and I feel like I went in certain directions so that I would eventually go towards these directions. I saw these 
beautiful settings that are going to be the inspiration of the setting of my book, but also I wouldn't have been writing it if I hadn't been pushed away from someone and felt that heartbreak. That's a big inspiration as well, but also him saying, you need to get your life together. <laughs> I was ready to let my life go a completely different way. I was ready to let my life become someone else's life and then I would have disappeared. And, and so in a way I am grateful and I think that that's what's really helped me get over it and I think that's what's really helped me be okay. And honestly, I can 100% say that I have never been better. Like, I am doing so, so well. And I'm super, super excited for what 2020 is going to bring. I wanted to do a video like this, um, kind of like a what I've learned in 2019. And I have so many notes on my phone that I've been taking kind of throughout the year, things that I could talk about. And it's all scrapped, it's all nothing, it's all irrelevant now because I feel like everything has just kind of changed. But one of the main things that I've learned in that I want to share and let you guys know is just like, you have to really, and you hear this all the time, but people, and I feel like our generation especially, is really lazy and they expect things to be handed towards them. But if there's something that you want, you really actually have to go out there and put in 110% of the effort to get it. You can't sit around and wait for someone to throw you a bone because one day someone is going to decide that they want their bone back and then what does that leave you with? But guard yourself, never stop coming up with crazy ideas even when people tell you that they're crazy ideas, do them anyway. Love as hard as you can. When you think that you're loving hard enough, do it harder. <laughs> and if you meet a person and they ask you out on a date, make sure you check out their Instagram before saying yes to the date because it's a lot more important than you think. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about YouTube. Um, and this is probably going to be the hardest part. I'm not really sure where, which direction the channel is going to be going come the new year. And don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love creating videos and it's honestly just, it, it's, it's a part of who I am at this point. I mean, I've been doing this every single week for three years. It's been on my mind that long. Like, cons it, it's a constant thing that you think about. Um, content, content, content. I've been really lucky with how it's been going so far, but some days it's just, harder than the benefits. But even when I went to Europe, and it was a time when I had wanted to record everything and put everything out there, and I was so excited I had been playing this for so long that when it finally happened, I was just scared. I got so overwhelmed with doing it that I didn't. <laughs> I want to document my life. I don't want to fill up the weeks in between with pointless content and just like collabs. I like making those beautiful little videos, but the real kicker, I can't even watch them. <laughs> because everything that I did this year, which was like, there it comes, right at the end. The most amazing year I felt, like at the time, I felt like my world was on fire and I, everything was never going to get any better than this. Like everything was uphill from here. This is, this is my life and it's fantastic. And I found a person who was into it too. And so I just let him write in on all of it. Now that's all I have. <laughs> like half of, half of the stuff is, I can't even watch. I'm not going to delete it because I don't delete any of this stuff, but it just makes it a lot harder. So I just have to be very, very selective of who I let in this channel in the future. I like the creating and I like making the videos and they have been making me outrageously happy and fulfilling me in so many ways, but it hurts. This is so dumb, I'm sorry, I don't even know. It's such a big part of my life and it hurts so bad that like, it's hurting me so bad. And it shouldn't, 
like this was a creative outlet and somewhere to hold memories. I don't know where this channel is going to go for a little while. I'm going to be doing so many things that would be worth sharing and would be great for me to look back on, but also I kind of want to put my energy in the other projects that I have on my mind. The, the things that are a little bit more challenging for me in other ways. I don't want to hopefully hurt my mental health <laughs> because I have been killing it. <laughs> the YouTubers I was talking about that do inspire me, that did inspire me, that I talked to also made me realize it's okay to stop because they, everyone has to once in a while. I know that there's going to be a lot of you who are going to be there for me and I appreciate it and thank you in advance. And um, I'll try not to be there for you guys too. I feel like I'm breaking up with you right now. I'm not, it's not like over. It's, the YouTube's not over. I just need to, I need to just not think about it for a little bit. I want things to be meaningful, but I want them to be easy. And that's just such a hard thing to meet. <laughs> I'll get that year end video out. I'll try and vlog a little here and there of the fun stuff, the good memories making, good memory making. But if you're used to that like Friday upload, get unused to it because it's not going to happen that way anymore, I guess. But I want to thank you guys so much for being supportive of me, not only just this year, but throughout all the years or however long you've been here. Maybe this is the first video of mine that you're watching, but thank you guys, every single one of you, so much. Um, I really wish you all the best for 2020. I feel like this is going to be like a whole new decade and it's going to be revolutionary and it's going to be amazing. And let's just all really try and make it amazing. Send out positive vibes into the universe and the universe will take care of the rest. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you when I see you. Later skaters.